How to increase response time to problem incidents. When a problem incident occurs, every second counts. Without critical information, it's hard to locate and communicate with needed teams, and dispatchers can't calculate the distance to the destination or the estimated time of arrival. Navman Wireless Fleet and Mobile Asset Intelligence creates efficiencies with active event alerts, routing features, maps, and electronic forms to make communication accurate and efficient. In fact, one Navman Wireless customer has decreased the length of time it takes to respond to accidents by 10 minutes, a huge amount when seconds count. Let's take a look at how increasing response time works. When a user is logged onto the Navman Wireless homepage and a problem event occurs, that user will receive a pop-up alert. In this case, the alert states that a vehicle's cube has been tampered with and that the tamper cover is open. This means someone may have access to the inner workings of the device and potential theft may be involved. Because of the alert, the user can be notified immediately and take action. When the alert is received, the user clicks Acknowledge so that the dispatcher is aware that the message has been received. Upon returning to the main screen, the incident is logged into the vehicle alert listing, which also shows who acknowledged the alert, what time it occurred, and if any emails were sent to a user about the incident. Now let's assume that a dispatcher would like to route a vehicle to a destination where a problem incident is occurring. Response time is key. Clicking on Address Search in the upper right portion of the screen allows the dispatcher to type in the exact street name, place, or postal code. When the address is identified, the dispatcher selects it in the box and the location appears on the map at the right. By selecting Show Nearest from the drop-down menu, the dispatcher can identify which vehicle is nearest to the location and take action. The list can also be expanded to display a broader distance radius and include more vehicles. Routing the nearest vehicle to the location of the problem incident saves time and fuel as well as increases accuracy and the timeliness of the response. By returning to the main page, the dispatcher can now route the new driver to the address. The dispatcher simply selects Vehicles, then Route Vehicle 2, and enters the location in the top box. After verifying the location, the dispatcher can then type a message to the driver regarding the urgency of the situation and includes a description of the problem incident. After clicking send, the driver will receive the message from dispatch on the vehicle's MNAV unit, followed by turn-by-turn -turn directions that are displayed both in map and list form. Though paper forms can improve communication accuracy between drivers and fleet managers, paper forms are usually more time-consuming to complete. Fortunately, Navman Wireless makes electronic form completion fast and simple to maximize efficiency. Some fields may already be selected in the drop-down menu to make completing and sending forms easy. Simply put the remaining information, such as customer name, phone number, job time, and then hit send. Once the driver receives the completed form, pressing Go displays turn-by-turn -turn directions so the driver can reach the job site efficiently. Upon returning to the main page, Navman Wireless makes it easy to review forms as reports so that users can capture and view pertinent information on specific vehicles and drivers. Once a form is sent, it is uploaded immediately so the information is always accurate and up to date. In this example, we'll create a form report by vehicle. The user inputs parameters such as vehicle type, form definition, report time period, and any additional criteria needed. Clicking on Create Report will then generate the report. In this example, we will view a fuel form within the report. The form displays the sent date, along with corresponding data such as gallons purchased, fuel price, and service station location. The user can choose which forms he'd like the report to display. Here, we are selecting all the forms that were sent and received. Now let's say that a user would like to generate a report on the last known location of his or her vehicles. Upon returning to the main page, the user simply selects Location Report from the Vehicle Reports menu and clicks Create Report. In an easy-to-read format, users can view the ignition status, group, update time, and the most recent location of that vehicle to pinpoint it with ease and accuracy. Thanks to online AVL2, fleets can be notified of problem incidents and quickly rectify them by communicating with accurate, timely information, all in real time.